Do great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. Good evening. Welcome to my very first episode, Tea Time Talks. This program offers mainly advice for females who are like who wants to have their mindset, uh, self-worth value issues, relation uh, issues, and all the challenges that women face. And today we have an excellent guest with us. She is a celebrity, a TED Talk speaker, influencer, author, and actress. So let's call our first guest, Sarah Afin Khan. Welcome, Sarah, to my first episode. Hello, how are you? I'm good. You're looking great, as always. Thank you. So are you. Thank you for inviting Thank me to your very first uh, Mala's Tea Time Talks. Oh, so lovely. let's 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 cheers on the tea first. Cheers! Here you go. <laughs> right. So, Sarah, tell me, um, you have written a book, right? Yes. And your very first book was launched by Tiger Shroff. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us a little brief about this? Um, I wrote my book. First of all, I'll tell you what encouraged me to write this book. So okay. um, yeah. when I stepped into this acting field in my career and I saw the people I used to look up to, people who I used to consider uh, my ideals. And when mm -hmm. I personally met them, I just realized uh, that it's not what they seem like everything is. It's all a lo lovely, glamorous world. People look up to them. People think they're beautiful. They're smart, intelligent. And they are. But a lot of them uh, face challenges with self-worth and self-esteem issues. Now, you would be surprised. I mean, you would think, okay, actors and celebrities would have all the, who have their best would have such problems. But they do have challenges because when they are up there, they're facing a, a different world. They're facing different kind of challenges. They're facing different kind sure. of, you know, uh, crazy situations. And those situations... Um, sort of register in their brain and make them feel less valued and self-worth issues. So that's how it encouraged me to write this book. So, um, I'm worth it. My book is called I'm Worth It and it's mainly catered to women um, just to bring about, uh, bring about uh, challenges of self-worth, self-issues, uh, self-love. And I think it's the need of the hour. So this is uh, yes, in a nutshell my book. That's true. So just a little experience on your launch with uh, Tiger Shroff. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, uh, see, when, uh, when I launched my book, what happens is the book title is amazing. I'm worth it. He loved it. But when I said it catered towards women, he's like, oh, you know, he was like, I hope it's not women empowerment. And I was like, <laughs> absolutely not. Because I do not believe in women empowerment. I think it's... True overrated over exaggerated over talked about and i think we don't need to be empowered we already are empowered so we i just don't like the idea of uh, you know empowering women you don't have to please they're already a bomb they're already there imagine empowering them even more that's so true. it was amazing the way he spoke he is such a brilliant actor he's such a brilliant human being so we had a great experience it was fun that's good lovely so tell me how do you find out someone is feeling low um and self-worth how do you come to know that they don't really acknowledge too much to themselves they feel very low esteem they don't have their self-worth what is this and why see how first of all uh you come to know a, a person who is facing self-worth and self-esteem uh, issues is with the kind of life they're leading okay first let me explain to you what is self-worth and self-esteem uh okay. it all starts from within it's in your mind it's nothing That's to do with true. external it's nothing to do with your family nothing to do your, with your friends nothing to do with your bosses nothing to do with your career nothing it's to do with your mind it starts from within what you believe about yourself now there are 
areas of your life and if you if you note down the areas of your life like your relationship your career your health your uh, your finances if they are below average like uh, uh, let's say in, uh, from 1 to 10 one being the least and 10 being the most if it is one if it is two then they have self worth issues they have self um, esteem issues because their relationship will be toxic their health will not be good they'll have lot of challenges in their career they are in a job which they don't like their finances are all messed up so when you when you analyze this you know that this person is facing challenges of accepting themselves so this is how you come to know if a person is uh, having self value issues you had written this book after your delivery you just gave birth to twins and now they are i think one year old so yeah no i wrote this book when i was uh, a much before i was pregnant and um, it was my first book so of course it took me time how to frame it how to write it there was so many things i wanted to write i wanted to like make an encyclopedia of it but because I'm it's sure. my first <laughs> Well, because it's my first book, I thought first I'll come out with the basics. What is important? It's a very simple right. book. It's like it's got basic tips. It's nothing hoo ha. It's not fancy. It's simple to the point. It's very relatable. It's very readable. So, and I completed this book. In fact, during my pregnancy, when I had all the time in the world, and I thought, you know, um, let me just finish this. So, when my babies are born, I can launch this book. wow so <laughs> what were your plans and because i know we just uh, you launched this book just before lockdown yeah did you did it upset your plans or how what happened i mean i it didn't upset me or my plans what happens was after tiger shroff launched the book uh i was going to do three uh, i was going to do three more official launch uh for okay. the book i had uh, a lot of other celebrities that were going to launch and this was actually um a surprise from my husband so wow so i didn't have my entire family friends and the people i wanted to invite so that would be another next step that i would i was going to organize a beautiful launch for my family for my friends and of course the the tv fraternity right and uh, we were going to have a lot of book discussions lot of debates lot of you know a lot of things going on so we had planned but straight after the launch uh, the lockdown was declared and my printing stopped my my plans stopped but then again the good point is that uh, my i decided to launch it on amazon so the first week itself it uh, was a best seller on amazon wow and uh, and uh, that's it now we're going to have conversations like this and improve uh, you know and talk about my books and this is how we're going to be discussing and having a group discussions and book discussions so yeah i mean you have to go with the flow you can't do anything about it i don't let uh, such things upset me for too long <laughs> did it any way uh, during writing this book did you face any challenges I uh, know I didn't actually I was I just interviewed people and wanted to know more about their insights on how they feel um what upsets them uh why are people in the toxic relationship that actually was very upsetting because you see women with low self esteem and uh, self worth issues they they do not believe that sure. they deserve a good life yes. they deserve happier life they feel they have to really work hard for the relationship really have to be really have to work hard for a happier life and they become uh, they physically become a doormat and they are ready to accept whatever relationship they are in they are in a toxic relationship and i keep wondering that why is why are they still in this relationship they're not happy it's just a habit but sometimes what happens is I don't actually give advice to those women. I I give suggestions, and if they don't take it, well, I know at one point that they will get the pain of it. And sometimes pain is important because pain pushes you. Now, pain actually True. pushes you to make a change. And if you haven't experienced that pain, you will not experience the change. Some people go through this very 
unbelievable toxic relationship and when they come out of it they set their standards so that helps That's them to fair. have an, another good relationship but some women need to have more pain so they keep attracting the same kind of men because they still feel their own value so this is the challenges i was facing while i was interviewing people that i couldn't it, it just it just bothered me that you know an intelligent person a beautiful person a talented person and she has to believe that she deserves this toxic relationship so this bothered me apart from this there was no such challenges so uh, a question for viewers if they feel that women face way too long challenges you know uh, whatever they do and to um, you know uh, show their self worth please put a comment what do you think do females face a lot of challenges or and actually they face challenges but they overcome they are very strong i know that for a fact because women now are doing so much fantastic job you see but you know what i feel uh, stara on and off you how like we need to charge up of phones you know like a charger so we keep needing that pep up you know to every time to say ourselves that how much worth we are because in see, this process in these challenges we forget this although we know but we need to keep reminding ourselves see what i i'm not saying that uh, a higher self value women a uh, higher self value woman does not face challenges of course they face challenges everybody faces challenges but high self value women when they face challenges they take self responsibility which is the big thing they don't play a victim game they don't play a blame game so this is the difference if a person uh, with a low self esteem they will they will play a victim oh this is what happened to me this is what happened to me the minute you see somebody playing a victim or a blame game you know it's 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 done it's it's low self esteem the true, minute you true. see somebody who is responsible who is saying oh i know how can how i can take this life around i know how i can face my challenges and they don't play blame game you see when you when you blame somebody you true. take away that responsibility of changing your life because now you've handed over that responsibility to somebody else so you really have no control about your life you were in the toxic relationship every time saying for instance that oh he did this to me you know he did this he cheated he did this. so it's all about he 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 so when you see somebody talking you know uh, uh, like this then you know definitely low self esteem issues so i'm not saying people do not have challenges high self esteem issue people also have challenges but they know how to handle it you know you have to yeah. stop playing a victim now very important uh very importantly i want to say something to all the viewers that there are steps there are um, i mean for this when i coach women it's a long process it's a deep subject you have to go into the past you have to go into the future you have to know understand about uh the person's life and how they've uh, dealt with situations and challenges before i am saying there are few little steps that i can give you to help you for now to improve your self esteem issues so uh first to improve your self esteem you need to have a good relationship with yourself if you don't have a good relationship with yourself nothing else will count because words the most important words in life is the words that you speak to yourself women can we ask can we ask the viewers to put thumbs up if they believe this what you are saying and they should be doing this yes we can so go on sorry we should sorry ask the viewers <laughs> no we should ask who who how many women no and who are conscious of what they think throughout the day yes that's a very important question are you we don't in the think moment? actually yeah yes no we think but we don't know what we think true we all think gemini agrees thank you gemini yes gemini hi anushk yes men women we think a, a lot uh, obviously women think more than men but we think it's 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 so unconscious 
that we do not realize what we're thinking. And this is very sure. damaging. I'll tell you why. Because most of our thoughts are repeated thoughts from yes. the previous day. And out of yes. those thoughts, most of the thoughts are either damaging or either destructive or which doesn't serve any purpose. So you are so used to conditioning your mind day and day out with those thoughts without even realizing that your brain actually believes that this is going to happen and it will only sure. attract shit because you don't you haven't realized and this is what you're thinking all day long. So to understand, to start with your self value, to improve your life, to improve your self worth. First, you need to be conscious of your thoughts. It's not That's easy true. in the beginning. You will, when every time you look out of the window or you're doing some writing or you're having a shower, you, when you think yourself, when you catch yourself thinking about something, stop and think what you have thought. If it is destructive, negative, doesn't serve your purpose, replace it with empowering words. Like most of the time, women look at themselves and say, oh, why am I fat? I wish I could be thin. Wow, why am I not prettier? I wish my eyes would be like this. I wish, you know, I would have better lips. Now you are only thinking something which is, I wish, uh, or, or you don't have it at the moment. But if you think empowering thoughts, like, you know, um, what can I do to improve myself? Oh, uh, today I'm going to be doing this. Today I'm going to be working out. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be uh, fitting into this dress. Something empowering, True. you know, I, I believe I'm uh, valuable. I love myself. Just even the, the fact that you say to yourself that I love myself, which is very important. So you need to be conscious of what, your thoughts. Uh, you need to um, have good relationship with yourself and you need to have a great conversation with yourself. And this That's will very require important. practice. This will require practice. It doesn't happen in a day. So, Sarah, how can you advise our viewers the very first step to make that conscious effort? Because you do trainings on self-worth and you, you know, do your programs. So I want to understand what is the first thing that you would advise to uh, the viewers that they should start doing? I first, know you said that, you know. First is to be aware. To fix a problem, you have to acknowledge the problem. You cannot change if you think that there is no problem. So first step is to be conscious of your thoughts. In a day, if you're thinking 90% of your thoughts are ridiculous, that means your life is ridiculous. And you have to accept that. Because if you want an extraordinary life, then you do not want to settle for less. So you have to right. consciously think. First, you have to be conscious of your thoughts. Second is you have to replace those thoughts with empowering thoughts. And if you find it difficult replacing those thoughts, just sort of have affirmations. I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am powerful. I'm abundance. I love myself. And sure. this is not like once in a morning that exercise needs to be done. It has, you have to own these words. It has to be a part of your thought process. So that anytime, if somebody wakes you in the middle of the night as well and say, what's your affirmations? I am uh, unique. I am powerful. I am abundant. So you should be owning those thoughts. So first yes. step is being conscious. Second step is your words, your conversation with yourself. And third is practice personal integrity. Now, what do I mean by personal integrity is to notice what you do throughout the day. Do you live up to your expectations or do you only have the wish list that I wish my life was like this? I wish I look like her. I wish I had yeah. this project. I wish I had this much money. Those are wishes. They are rubbish. They'll not do anything. They'll only push you away because you're just looking at a far distance vision. Do you own up to the life that you want to live? Have you completed the promises that you have made to yourself? I'm not talking promises of yeah. the world and everything else, but yourself. Yeah. So it's very important that you connect with yourself. So these yes. are the first three steps. Unless you don't do it, it will always put you in a low self-esteem uh, state and that won't be very happy for your life. So these three steps are very important. Right. So I hope the viewers got some very good information I hope so. <laughs> about, yes. And also I want to ask you, during this lockdown, since you've launched the book, everything, you have started your YouTube channel with the kids, doing so many things together. How do you do this multitasking? What drives you to do this? How you manage? See, obviously, before the lockdown, I had a lot of plans with my book. 
now uh, after the lockdown uh, was announced i had a lot of time in my hand now obviously first few days i wasted my time sometimes because your brain is in shock you don't know what to do when you wake up and you think okay my god i can't get out now what do i do so it takes <laughs> It takes a bit of while you know because we're so used to getting up going out doing things taking my babies out right fun. it took a bit of a time but then i thought to myself let me list down the things that i've always procrastinated and always wanted to do but i didn't do it so fine the first on the list was the uh, um starting my youtube channel i have got so many videos but i haven't actually done it even without the babies that i used to make videos but i never actually posted because right <laughs> anything when you start anything everybody flares up okay we're going to start but being consistent is actually the challenge that is important That's so i was true. thinking if i start now i have to be consistent i just can't start and then end whenever i want so that motivated me to start my uh, youtube channel and what better than you know uh, having fun with babies and you know uh, sharing my experience with new mothers because i went through that so i know and you know new mothers take it very uh, very seriously life is not that serious enjoy play with your child it's okay don't listen to people if you don't want to don't listen to advice if you don't want to and others you need to back off a little when it's a new mother you know let yes, her just because you get all the advice you know i think the mother is a beautiful thing she knows you, what to do for you her connect kids. and then you know what your child wants you just yes. automatically know yes. it's just a beautiful beautiful gift from god that you just happen to you know have that's true so yeah i started my youtube channel which i was procrastinating what are your further plans continue with my uh, uh youtube channel uh working on my second book uh wow yeah uh, planning to coach a lot of women which i have been actually me and afeen my husband have been uh, coaching a lot of people through this lockdown uh towards mental health it's been very challenging times for people and uh, we've been on and on uh, through you know either on whatsapp on calls on zoom calls and webinars so um we've been quite busy in this terms <laughs> lovely i think you've really done a great uh information help people to understand about self worth i'll quickly ask you two questions how uh, i know afin does a great work so you get inspired by afin or afin get inspired by you <laughs> remember one thing in life it's always the men that get inspired by women Wow, that's called <laughs> self-worth. I'm so happy. I'm so proud. That's so good. Last one message for the viewers. Is there anything you want to say? Any last message you want to say, Sarah, for the viewers? Look, I just want to say to the viewers, life is beautiful. Live in the moment. problem uh, that many people face with mental health is first they don't live in the moment we're always thinking about the past or about the future so we miss out on the beautiful things that we can enjoy in life um second thing is you need to have more gratitude i think a lot of people fall into depression take their own lives because they feel that they don't believe that they have what they have around them of course i want a better house of course i want a better car of course i want a better career but in that process you're not enjoying what you have right now you can wish and you can aim for a better material or better life or better growth but at the same time if you don't appreciate what you have no matter how much you get you'll actually never be satisfied and never be happy and that's what pe makes people very depressed and that's what actually encourages people to just end their life unfortunately because they feel they're not deserving so gratitude and living in the moment is the most important values that you can inculcate in your life so i request all of you women men children uh, parents to 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 inculcate this habit in your child to wake up every morning and pray and say thank you god for so and so things that thank you god for the next day of my life thank you god for food thank you god for my parents thank you god for little things that you can enjoy so you know that you have it because once That's it's true. gone 
there's no point after that that's you know that's true that's true sara it was so lovely talking to you and i'm sure our viewers have enjoyed they've got a lot of insightful stories and they can make a lot of changes in their life and i am so happy whatever you told them i think it will really make some sense i hope so and i hope so yes and if there is anything any comments viewers any suggestion please put in the drop box if you like this show please like comment and subscribe okay sara thank you so much thank you i love being take on care. this it was fun and thank you very much really appreciate <laughs> lovely take care bye take care. Bye.